Hey folks, to use the skills development calculator is actually really, really simple. So what you do is you just open it in Excel and at the top there it says enter total salaries for the year. So that's your total salary bill. In other words, all the director's salaries, everybody that works for you, all the salaries. I personally work it on a gross salary bill because some verification agencies accept it on a net salary bill. But the problem is if you arrive there and they now want a gross salary and not a net salary, then you have a problem and you don't get full points. And it's definitely the best place to score full points is the skills development. So what you're going to do is you enter your full salary bill. For my business, it was 2.5 million. And it immediately populates your sheet with the correct amount. So you can see here that on black people, you need to spend 75,000 Rand. On black females, you need to spend 25,000 Rand. And on black disabled people, you need to spend 3,750 Rand. The nice thing here is that it's not mutually exclusive. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is that the 25,000 Rand can be included in the 75 and this 3,750 can also be included in the 75. So if you spread your spending correctly, you only need to spend 75,000 Rand because black females counts for black females and as black, ma as black people. Uh, disabled black people if you spend money on a disabled black female, it counts as disabled person, black female, and black people. So in other words, your money can go quite far. And that's it. So what you need to do now is just go down here to your spend summary and you can just fill it in. So I sent uh, two of my girls on a training course. So I sent Kanye on a year-long training course. She's a black female. I paid 12,000 Rand for that. And I sent... Uh, to Kwanda also on a course it's also 12,000 Rand and she's also a female and there you go you can immediately see my points I've already got 11 points just for that those two spends then uh, what I've done is there's a place called Sparrow Schools because you know especially small companies and medium co medium companies we don't always have a disabled black learner so what I do is I just make a donation to Sparrow Schools. It's a school that's dedicated to training and educating disabled learners. I then just specify that they must use the money to going towards a black disabled female because that way I can get the most benefit. So I donated 20,000 Rand to Sparrow Schools to be used with a black female and it's a disabled person. If, you, if you're spending money on a disabled person, you just need to also add it in the disabled column. There we go. And that gives me 18 points. So pretty much what it means, I can still see how much I, I can see how much I still need to spend. I was supposed to spend 25 grand. I spent 44 grand on females. I was supposed to spend 75 on blacks. I've only spent 44 on blacks. Uh, as far as disabled goes, I'm good. So I need to spend the balance on a black person. So there is another driver, uh, Jonas, and he wants to go on a course that is going to cost 24,000 Rand. And boom, now I'm down up to 23.6 points. As you can see there, I still need to spend another 7,000 Rand. So the simplest way to get that done on such short notice, seeing that I have to spend it before uh, the end of February, which is my financial year end, and that's only a few days away, is I will just give another, another 7,000 Rand to Sparrow Schools. And there we go. I've got my full 25-point allocation, and I'm good to go. So that's how you use the skills development spend calculator it's really just a simple tool to make sure that you are on the right track and that you've spent enough money something that i can say is and i do that generally um, i always just go a little bit more because unfortunately you do find that um, with different verifications uh, verification agencies they've got different ideas and sometimes they take of VAT or they have got some other, you know, they, there's always something. 
so I'm rather overprepared because to my business, it's very important that I get the maximum BEE points because I deal with a lot of big corporates. And if I am not on the correct BEE level, they will definitely penalize me and I will get less work. So there you go. That's how you use the skills development calculator. Cheers.